yes, you are seeing it correctly in the title. Windows Phone Unboxing in 2020. For real. Now, I'm not even going to wait any longer. I'm going to just cut this open. Now, this guy actually came February 13, 2020. But I'm unboxing it today, February 14, 2020, which also has to be Valentine's Day. No, I will not be uploading it on Valentine's Day. You'll see this video later in the month. Because I have other things to also edit. So, this is obviously not a retail package. This is bought from private vendor. So, you can see the Bosalina. Never heard of that, by the way. I'm going to open Bosalina. So, we can take a look at this. Something I need to grab here. Where did I put that? Okay, I found what I was looking for, so let's continue. Okay, thankfully this does have a charger because I was very concerned that it would not because I currently do not have any USB-C chargers in my collection. So that's a relief. And as you can see here, this is a European Union charger because I bought this from someone in Europe. Microsoft. It's the original charger. Unfortunately, I will not be able to use it because, for one, obviously it's not going to fit. And even if I did something drastic to make it fit, it would not go well. <laughs> I need not explain anymore. So let's put that aside. And now let's open this. Why would you look at that? I even taped it just to make sure that it would not come apart and whatever. Why is the video looking so blurry? Okay, there we go. Focus. So that's a nice touch. Okay, how should use scissors to do this? But I have this closer to me, so. Oh, I see more. see more red. I see lots of red. Wow, this color is excellent. And wow. there we go. Wow. Beautiful. Just simply beautiful. Let me shine the light over so we can See that Microsoft logo, Pure View Zeiss. You can see the microphones, you can see the camera module, you can see the screen. Incredible. Simply incredible. Hey, if you look closely at this, you can even see my Lumia's module. Okay. Now it's time to answer the ultimate question why on earth would anybody want to buy a Microsoft Lumia 950 XL? Well, why would I not want to? Because believe it or not, despite this being a 2015 device, or was it 2016? No, I think it was late 2015. This has a lot actually going for it. Like Microsoft really future-proofed this. Although it was actually Lumia that designed it despite the Microsoft branding. It's just that they owned the company at that time. But anyways, it has a 14.4 centimeter AMOLED display with a resolution of 2560, 1440 resolution. So that's 16 to nine, something that you do not see anymore, which is very sad. I really wish these smartphone makers would start making the display in 16 to nine. The reason being that if you think about it, these 4K TVs, that's 16 to nine. Most of these desktop computers, they're still in 16 to nine. Even a number of these laptops are still in 16 to nine. Those of them are in 16 to 10 and four to three. So 16 to 9 is just the golden asset creation. I wish that these smartphone makers would still stick to it. Sadly, if you want 16 to 9, you have to go back typically to 2015, 16, 17. In 2018 and 19, I think we did have a couple of handsets with Razer 2. I know the Razer Phone 2 had it, the Sony Xperia XZ2 Premium had it. Anyways, that's nothing that rambling. So as for the other specs, a 20 megapixel camera, 4K capable, of course, with the Zeiss optics. 3 gigabytes of RAM, Snapdragon 810. You might be thinking, ha, that sounds so wee because it's now Snapdragon 865. Well, it's still plenty capable because it's still a flagship processor. 
and it has a 3340 mAh hour removable battery removable battery something that's sorely sorely missing in these 2019-2020 handsets which is very sad it needs to come back then it has Corning Gorilla Glass 4 so to be plenty tough then it has the headphone jack and you showcase this because you know this is another thing that's just being treated like a joke uh, I don't know why the video is not focusing come on you need to focus man it's hard to focus with this hand occupied uh, but here you can okay there we go there we go I have to emphasize this beautiful hole because this beautiful hole is disappearing at an alarming rate I don't know why they think it's funny to get rid of it to force consumers into buying wireless when not everyone wants wireless which is very sad and it has glance screen which is where you can glance the screen to unlock it to check the time so it's kind of like an iris sensor yes for 2015 it has all of this and it had the option for a dark theme when Android and iOS in 2015, they didn't even have that. Like you probably like had to jailbreak them or root them to get that. And it had US oh, I'm saying it had it still has obviously USB 3.1 type C. And guess what? Back in 2015, a lot of those Android handsets did not even have it. Like take the Samsung Galaxy S7 for instance, it did not have that. The Sony phones did not have that. I don't think the LG phones even had that. So this thing was ahead of its time whether you like it or not now because i did not want this in black i did thankfully get a white back cover for it i already bought the case i already highlighted that in a video although the unboxing for this was uh, done on atazaka so you can go and check that out so that, should I take this off first to showcase that removal battery or should I just power it up? Oh yes, and it has a dedicated camera button. I did not mention that. This is really, really handy because when you want to take a photo or just start the camera, you don't have to go into the phone or whatever. You can just hit it and it's there. Um, now, I didn't really watch any guides on how to take this off because from what I get to understand, it requires quite some finessing. So, uh... We'll see how this goes. Well, you know, maybe I won't actually try and do this on camera. Well, you know, okay, I'll try. Okay, I think if I get this side and I just go... Oh, there we go. Okay, it's not impossible to do. I'm doing this. I just have to be patient with it because I don't want to break anything. There. Beautiful. Wow. I can't remember the last time where I actually peeled off the back of a, of a phone to look at the battery. This is just so refreshing, so liberating, so grainy. Come on, camera. Really? Really, man? Really? I can't just hold the lights like that. Anyways, let's. No, seriously, I should have made my lighting better than this because now this looks really dark okay there we go that's better now there's a big massive glare yikes so 3000 years of force you can see that there now let's take it off and yeah it has a micro sd card slot this is the single sim version as you can see the dual sim would have another one up here okay let me just take this out Actually, why am I taking this? Actually, I'm taking this out just for the fun and giggles. Wow. Removable battery. I'm actually holding the battery of a phone in my hands. This is so different. This feels good. This feels so good. Because all of my other handsets, the Blackberry, the iPhone, and the Lumia 1520, which is the one I'm using to film this, I can't do this. I can't do this without just ripping their guts apart. Wow. Incredible. Okay, let's put this back now so I can fire it up. Although I had to actually take this off because I had to... Oh, no, 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 I can't do it like that. So then I'd break the module. 
into something that I do not want to do. So that's what's on the white one. Let's take this out now and let's get this attached to this. Now I'll know if this is fake or not if this thing can wireless charge. Now, I do not have a wireless charging pad with me in this room so I'll just have to do that off camera and then report the results in the video description. Well, it fits all right, so that's a good sign. Wow, look how much better this looks. I know, to each their own, but honestly, I think white horns just look so, so, so much better. Okay, let me hold it up. Yeah, it's going to be kind of dark. They both have the Microsoft logo and they both say Zeiss. It fits all right, headphone jack and all. And then the USB-C port at the bottom. All right, now I need to power it up. And it turned on immediately. Would you look at that? Or did it not? It just grunted. Okay, there we go. Microsoft. Drop this to hold it a bit closer. Get to focus on that Microsoft circle. You can see my other Lumi in the back when looking at you. Okay, I should probably edit this out because this is okay, never mind. That was gonna take like really, really stupidly long. And thankfully it just did not. And here are the languages. Should I set up my information now or should I do this off camera? Gosh, I really do not know. Hmm. I don't know. I guess I can just fill in whatever is not private right now. And then when I do need to fill in something private, I'll just do that off camera or just edit it out. Where's Canadian English? Did I pass it? It's, it's really funny how they have these Englishes like Hong Kong English, Caribbean English, Jamaican English. <laughs> Had to be really funny. I wonder if it actually have the systems dialect in. Did I say dialect? Dialect in Jamaican Creole because that would be really funny. Anyways, no, I'm not going to do that because I'm not in Jamaica. I'm in Canada. So let's go. Canadian English. Next, let's get going. What is your home country or region? It is so obviously Canada. And if you still do not know that I'm Canadian, actually, no, you know what? No, 99% of the people that come to this channel know that I'm Canadian. They do. Unless you're like 100% new. Even if you're new, all you have to do is just take a look at my videos and you can instantly be like, okay, yeah, this is a Canadian. Okay, so, um, in case of emergency during setup, hold back the button on your phone to make a call or tap the button enable emergency. Okay, so, next. Uh... Restarting your phone. To apply your language and region settings, we need to restart your phone, okay? So your classic Lumia goodbye. I do not know how long this is going to take. I will just shut up and edit this part of the video out. Okay, maybe I don't need to actually do that. Welcome back. Now we'll help you finish setting up a few things in case of emergency. Actually, okay, I already read that. I really, really do not need to read that again. Um, the SIM is missing. Well, of course it is because the SIM is in my BlackBerry passport. Here's the legal stuff. Oh boy, last updated July 2015. <laughs> That's almost five full years ago. Oh my gosh. That is ridiculous. Okay, I should put this like on a uh, bench or something because this is really far away from the camera, but it's too bad I don't have anything uh, close by that I can just throw it on. I mean, I suppose I could just grab a torch or something. Actually, no, yeah, I'm going to do that. We really don't need to have it so far away. All right. 
Yeah, that's better. Now you can actually read this stuff. Okay, um, is there anything I could opt out of? No. All right, accept. Okay, what time zone are you in? I am in, uh, does it say Eastern? Okay, no, it's already set to Eastern. Okay, how did they, how did they know? This was coming out of Europe. How did actually they, obviously they know because they cited Canada. But how do they know that I'm specifically in this part of Canada? Like, how do they know that I'm not in Saskatchewan or British Columbia or the Yukon or something? Like, how did they know? How? Whatever. Okay, so we're going to select Atlantic. Now I'm not. No, 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 no. I'm not in Atlantic Canada. Gosh darn it. Okay, Eastern. The date today is. 2020-02-14, Valentine's Day. February. Yes, that is the date. Okay, so earlier the phone cut off from that stupid heat warning. But it's not like it really matters anyway because I wasn't doing anything interesting like setting up the phone. That's really not something you needed to see. Uh, some of the information I wasn't even able to show on camera anyway because things like my wife information is obviously private. So yeah, this is the phone now fully set up. Managed to play around with it a bit. I managed to even actually get it to uh, update to some of its later builds. It's not on the, the last build which was issued last month from... January, or was it January 14, 2020, or January 15? I don't know. I think it was the 14th, where that would... Really? Okay, so now it just timed out. Now we can see the time there. We can even see my Lumia 1520 in the reflection. Microsoft. Okay, seriously, that is not what we want to see. So, okay, while I have it in front of the screen, I might as well just... Uh, should I play a game? No, I'm not going to play a game. I'll just do nothing. Instead, I will just call it quits. By the way, this location is totally not accurate. <laughs> but what you can see, though, is minus 21 Celsius. Yes, Ontario is in a bit of a deep freeze at the time of this recording, which is unfortunate. But, oh well. I can say that... I think you're going to really enjoy this phone because it's like the Lumia 1520 but just better in almost every aspect except screen size. I really wish that they did keep the 15 centimeter screen size. I don't know why they had to downsize it a bit but oh well. I think that this thing is so definitely worth it in 2020 if you just want an experimental phone or a break from this whole Android and iOS Although we're going to be getting uh, Purism's Librem 5 and the Pine Phone already started shipping its Braveheart edition. I don't know when they're going to be shipping the full consumer version, but I guess that's the topic for another video. So now I am out.